Welcome back guys on my YouTube channel. Today I have a video that I hope will help many of you cause it's always very hard to find YouTube videos on how to exactly crimp our connectors, especially on motorbikes. And I wanna slowly show you during the year different type of connectors. And today I thought we would start with the super seal connector. This is widely used in automotive and used also on many rally instruments. This is why I believe it can be very useful because this is a super seal connector, meaning it's dust proof and waterproof, but also is super secure, very important on our connections for our adventure bikes or our Dakar bike. From this view, you can see how many crimping tools I have, and this makes you understand the strange fetish I have to make connection just perfect production level, but also it shows how I try every different type of crimping tool in order to find the best one for the specific connector because you need to know that each connector has its own specific crimping tool and matrix but then you have the common more general crimping tools these are the ones you're most used to find like in hardware stores and so on but even here there is a big discrepancy in quality between one brand and the other so don't ever go just for the cheap chinese shit because when it comes to connection especially this i learned at dakar if you do the connection and the crimping perfectly you can race a full dakar without having any electrical issue well none of these is the right tool to get the best crimping on these type of connectors i have it here this is the tool that will get you production level. It's a very expensive tool because you're looking at around 600 euros for this. But trust me, now you'll think, ah, no way I'll ever spend 600 euros on a crimping tool. I purchased this, so it's not a sponsored video. The reason I'm saying this is that then on the long run, the more you spend, the less you spend. You go at a rally, you do a shit crimping job, you have a problem during the stage, then during the stage, you get distracted because you have the problem. You go wrong, then you fall, then you damage the bike and so on. And it's like a snowball going down a mountain. You get the right tool. It's expensive at the start, but on the long run, trust me, I'm super happy on the investment I made and today you'll see why. I'll get now to use as an example to show you the crimping job, a Rebel X 40 watt light. This is used on the ultralight kits and on other kits, but also as additional lights on your adventure bike. Like many parts on our bikes, you have the positive and negative. The super seal connectors are available in different range. So this is a two-way super seal connector, but you have also the single one, you have up to six, even eight ways super seal connector, depends on the job you need to do. On cars, usually you have a four, six way, that means you have four or six cables going in. On each connector, you can have a male and a female, then you have the specific terminals for this wire. Then you also have these rubbers that are available in different colors, yellow, red, green, blue, and so on, that seal perfectly once you put in the pin inside the connector. But now with no further ado, let's start the crimping job. First thing you need to do is verify is the length of the wires coming out is enough or in this case, if it's too long, cause this section of the connector needs to wrap around the rubber and the wire enclosure. Whereas the front part of the terminal will go and grab the wires directly that will transmit the current. Once you cut it of the correct length, you'll go and place the rubber on the wire in this way and bring it to the end of the rubber enclosure. We get our crimping tool, open it, and now we will place the terminal inside. There is a hole here in the rear and you need to bring it all the way so that it's flush and that you see that two different sections of the connectors are in perfect position. You place in so that the first part of the connector grabs the rubber. You go and press all the way and look how the connection comes out perfect. 
Now you saw how easy it was to get a production level quality on this crimping and how solid it is. I can really pull it and I'll never end up having the connector detached from the wire. The next step will be to insert the terminal inside the connector. One very important thing is that on most connectors you have written a number or a letter that indicates one or two. This guides you so then on the male and female you always know where you need to put the wire. As a general rule, not always like this, but most of the time, keep in mind that on two-way connectors, usually the ground is placed on number two. This is a rule that personally I didn't know years ago. I learned it and this rule has helped me a lot because sometimes you end up having to wire something on the go on a bike and you don't know which is the ground because maybe they used black and brown, which generally both colors brown and black are used for ground. In this case, you know that most of the times the number two is the ground wire and the number one, the power wire, so the positive. Now, when inserting the terminal inside the super seal connector, you'll have to push it until you hear a click that I'll make you listen, after which you will push in the secondary lock this is called secondary lock, that plastic that is in front. You push it in and it locks everything so then you are safe and sound with your connector. Once both terminals are in, you push down the secondary lock. Now you see how perfectly sealed and solid this connector is. Here on the rear you have the rubbers that seal completely from any dust or water since they are around the wire enclosure so everything is sealed nothing can come in. On this side you have the terminals in place with the secondary lock and this rubber will go and seal also when you put the other side of the connector that has this tab so once it's in place it will be impossible to detach them. You can now pull as much as you want, nothing can go in from this side. On this side we will have again other two wires with the rubbers, so this is perfectly sealed and the reason why this is called a super seal connector. If I want to open the connector I will have to pull up the tab and then I'll be able to remove it. But now I also have something to say to all the AliExpress fanboys out there. Having a proper crimping tool makes a difference and makes a good connection, but also having the right connector. These super seal connectors are widely available. You find them on Amazon, you find them on AliExpress for super, super cheap. Same as the terminals, but the quality is not the same. I get asked a lot of the time why my bills are so expensive, why the rally kits are so expensive compared to other rally kits that are way cheaper. Well, the difference is in the small details. This connector is an AliExpress one that is I think like 10 cents. This instead is a made in Italy connector that costs about two or three euros. Why such a big difference? From the external side, just from a photo or just having one in your hand, you won't see any difference. But when you touch it, you immediately feel the different consistency in the plastic. This is much more flimsy. Now, I don't have the terminal to show you, but the terminals, sometimes even with a good crimping tool, they'll break. So they'll crack and break. And also when you insert them in the connector, they will move a bit. They won't be as firm and solid as proper professional super seal quality connectors. This is why I'll never get tired of telling you here on the channel, always look for quality because on the long run, it's what's gonna save you. When you are traveling around the world or going on a holiday that has costed you thousands of euros and then for saving three euros, you put the wrong connector or did a shitty job crimping it and you end up wasting maybe a day, two or three days of riding that have cost you more than what you saved on getting an AliExpress connector. Well guys, that's all for today. I would really, really appreciate if you tell me in the comments if you like this type of video. If you want me to do a video for every different type of connector, that you have mostly on rally bikes and adventure bikes so that I can make like this a sort of tutorial so that you know which tool 
you need to use, which type of connectors you need to use and how to crimp everything. I did this video cause many years ago when I was learning, I wish I had found a video like this that would really bring me step by step knowing which tool I should buy, which gives me the best quality, which connectors and how to properly crimp them. For sure, not everyone can afford or wants to spend six, 700 euros on such a professional crimping tool, even though for any team and any rally kit company that is not using professional tools, I would never go buy anything off them or never go service with a team that doesn't have the proper tool to service my bike. If you're on a budget, there are other cheaper solutions that are not semi-automatic like this. For example, this is a really, really good tool made in Germany that lets you do the same connections. Here we are around 100 something euros. There are even cheaper crimping tools. But remember, in this sector, you really pay for quality. Also, with a semi-automatic one, you do the crimping in one passage. With this tool, you have to crimp the two sections of the terminal separately. This means having to do twice the job per each terminal. The cheaper you go, the more difficult it will be. It is even doable with pliers. And personally, it has happened to me on a Dakar stage that I crashed very hard in 2016 or 2017, a dog crossed. I crashed, I broke everything and I ripped the cables like they got cut. So I had to then do uh, new connections on the go and I didn't have the crimping tools with me but had pliers so you can do it but having the right tool just makes it so easy and quicker that here in the workshop I always use only proper tools well guys subscribe to my Instagram to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next one ciao